Mulan uni isaha Johanna Johanissa. How long we have been here is uh, it's no documentation on that. One thing is for sure, Sami people has been a very very long time here. With reindeer herding, we working in generations. The Sami language, you know, has had challenging parts, but also the culture, because uh, for about 100 years ago, there was a politic here in Norway that, that uh, here in Norway, everybody, we should be Norwegians. When my grandmother go to the school, it was not allowed for them to speak Sami language between them. There was like this brainwashing that everybody be Norwegian. There was also places where Sami people had to change their names to be able to buy lands. It's, it's destroying a lot of this identity, you know, like it was it was a shame to be a Sami person, you know, like it's, it's a dark side of the story. But luckily there was a lot of Sami people who continue to speak Sami language and, and keep that language living. I heard that it was 13 Sami language, but now it's only 10. But now today it's getting better. We have our own Sami schools, we also have our own Sami class. It's growing again, but it's of course when, uh, when it's been like pushed down, then it takes time to grow again. The yoik is like our way of music, the Sami music. Some people even say it's one of the oldest forms of music in all Europe. Yoik is like this, you always have to give it away, dedicate it to somebody. I was pretty much raised by my grandmother. My grandmother had passed away and I do really yoik her often, every day, to get some memories back. You know, a long time ago, then the reindeer herder and the reindeer, they make the deal. Uh, and the deal was that the reindeer said, I can provide you clothes and food. But then is one thing what you have to do with me is to take care of me. And the Sami said yes. And that's how we started with a reindeer hunt. Two, two females, pregnant females, they keep the antlers. And here is the calf. Today we eat, give them a reindeer moss, what is like um, growing here in the, in the nature here. So we collecting them. This is the extra energy. It's like a reindeer pellet. We doing this now, you know, we, we feed the reindeers. Uh, 30, 40 years ago, it was not necessary. The, the winter was cold, the snow was soft. When the warmer winter's coming, it's getting ice in the, ice in the ground. You know, it's not always warm, but that, that means that we have periods with rain, and plus degrees and rain in the middle of the winter. What happens in the ground is getting icy, you know, water and, and, and the cold. And that's the problem, you know, when the ice is thick, you know, reindeers, they just have their front feet and to get to the ground, it's like a fridge what is closed. Of course, when you have responsibility for the reindeers, you, you then need to buy food to get them to survive. And, and, and it's affecting us, uh, you know, it's more costs, more work. The most important thing is that the reindeer surviving and then the people coming here and they pay for the food. So you get the economic aspect also to go around. I'm very, very privileged that people show the interest to, to come here, learn more about reindeers, more about Sami people. And 
because it has not always been like that.